Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Thursday. We are going to kick off the summer 2022 sunscreen review series today. We're going to be kicking it off with the new Wander Beauty Pack Up and Glow Priming SPF Broad Spectrum SPF 40 Mineral Sunscreen. Um, so this is what we're doing today. I don't have anything on my face other than my morning skincare routine. Um, for those of you, <laughs> I've had a couple of comments lately saying, you have some nerve talking about skincare when you are never on camera without makeup on your face. First of all, have you ever watched one of my like get ready with me videos? There's no makeup on my face when I start that video. So this is my face. This Hopefully this pleases you to be able to see it. So anyway, sorry, I'm feeling a little spicy. I'm just having a week this week. And so little things just make me like, nah. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's keep it positive going forward. However, because this is a pretty great SPF, you guys. So um, I love doing this sunscreen series every single year because I think there are so many amazing sunscreens available on the market. I have to admit that someone with an oily skin type, it is somewhat difficult for me to find sunscreens that really work well with my oily skin type. Um, a lot of times I feel like sunscreens tend to lift off of my face because of my excessive oil production and it just makes everything look like a mess. It makes it look like things are melting down my face. It's not a good look. I am someone who personally prefers a mineral sunscreen over a chemical sunscreen for my face, but I am not one of those people that is going to claim that all chemical sunscreens are evil and that um, they are bad for you. Um, we have choices in terms of what we can buy, right? For me, I just have actually found that the mineral sunscreens, specifically those that are focused on zinc oxide or titanium dioxide, that those just work better with my oily skin type. So that's why I have the mineral sunscreen preference. Um, and I am always going to share products with you that are, um, that I think are going to work well with my skin. Now, sometimes I purchase sunscreens that don't work for my skin and I will still review those for you guys. There were, uh, there was a sunscreen last year from Biosance that I tried. I love Biosance. Their squalane oil is one of my favorite things in the world. Um, but that sunscreen didn't work for me. Way too way too moisturizing or hydrating <laughs> for my uh for my oily skin so not a good fit even though i think was that a mineral hold on i actually still have it here i need to yeah this was a zinc mineral sunscreen i'm actually going to be finishing this on my body this year um this expires in january of 23 so i'm actually going to take this into the bathroom and i'm going to use this on like my legs and stuff so Whenever I purchase a sunscreen that ends up not working out for me, I will just use it on other areas of my body. At this point, it is very rare for me, unless something is absolutely awful, I don't return things. I figure out other ways to use them. So if a moisturizer doesn't work on my face, I'll try it on my neck. If it doesn't work on my neck, then I'll use it on my arms or my butt. I don't know, somewhere, right? So anyway, um, the sunscreens that I'm going to be bringing you this summer, um, there's a couple that I have in mind that are chemical sunscreens, but I've heard good things, so I'm going to try those out for you as well, and hopefully I can make some really great recommendations to you. Again, I think it's really important to wear sunscreen year-round. I don't think that this is just a project that you should partake in when it is sunny out. Put the sunscreen on every single day, no matter what because um, even when it's cloudy, the sun's rays penetrate down to the ground that we are all living on, right? So protect your skin. Um, I think it's really important to also not use just sunscreen on your face, but also on the rest of your body. I tend to use certain sunscreens on my face and then something else on my neck 
because a lot of times I like sunscreens that have a tint to them and I don't like getting sunscreen tint on my clothing like it probably wouldn't matter with this gray sweatshirt that I'm wearing but if I'm wearing like a white sundress or something like that I don't want that um, that tint to get onto my clothing. Um, also remember to do your ears. I feel like the ears and the back of the neck are often kind of forgotten about and that's easy to do, right? Um, but remember those areas as well. I feel like the beginning of this video is just a pep talk. I just, I really think that sunscreen is super important. I do have a family history of skin cancer. Um, my biological father has had melanoma which unfortunately does give me, and I think that there are, I think some of his siblings as well, I don't have any contact with my biological dad, so I don't know all the details, but I was informed that that is, that's a part of my family history. So um, it is very important, off this here, sorry. It is very important to get checked, if not once a year, at least do it every couple years. If you see any moles that are questionable, if you have a partner or a friend that you really trust, ask them to look at your back. It's obviously really difficult to like, you know, get back there and see what's happening. So um, if there is anything that you notice that is changing on your skin, please go get it checked. Um, I think May was Skin Cancer Awareness Month. Here I am doing this like basically at the end of the month, but um, it's really important to go get checked by a dermatologist. Um, I try to go every single year, but because of what we've been through the last couple years, I have not gone. And so I have an appointment coming up. Um, it's not my favorite thing to do, but it's also a very simple thing to do. And it just gives you that peace of mind. So, all right, now, um, don't worry, I'll put a, a, a timestamp down below. <laughs> so if you, if you didn't want the blurb, you can skip to this part. All right, you guys, I have been testing the Wander Beauty Pack Up and Glow Priming SPF uh, Broad Spectrum SPF 40 for the last several weeks. And so I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about this SPF and we're, we're gonna put it on my face today. So we're going to apply it so that you can see what it looks like um, as I'm putting it on. And I'll tell you what my experience has been and if I would recommend this for those of you with an oily skin type or not. Um, and if it would work for other skin types as well. So, all right. Um, so by the way, this is a 1.69 ounce tube. It is, it's a very nice tube. It's, I feel like this is very travel friendly. Um, it retails for $36. Um, it's getting pretty good reviews so far. So I feel like this is probably a pretty good SPF for a wide variety of people. I'll be linking it down below. So check out the information down there. I'll try to link it in a couple different places so you can pick where to purchase it from. Okay, so don't go another day uh, compromising your SPF. Uh, call it quits and pack it up. Uh, our next generation 100% mineral-based sunscreen protects, prevents, perfects, and primes the skin. This sheer lightweight formula protects against UVA and UVB rays, free radicals, and blue light while preventing moisture loss and photo aging. A skin perfecting formula that provides a luminous, healthy glow that work that easily works into, uh, into all skin types and tones, leaving no white cast. It's never greasy, sticky, or heavy, leaving a satin finish that's a perfect priming base for makeup applications. Um, so their obvious directions for use are, uh, so they say use the two finger rule. Two strips of sunscreen should be squeezed from the tip to the base of the index and middle fingers. So we'll do that today. So I'll show you what that looks like. Um, and, uh, obviously wait at least 15 minutes before going outside. Now, one thing I will tell you with this particular SPF, I actually have to wait, um, a little bit longer before going in with my makeup application. The dry down on this one is a little bit longer than what I typically have to put up with from the my beloved, this is like my holy grail sunscreen, um, the Paula's Choice Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense. Um, you've heard me talk this to death. Like I just, I have, I've beat this horse for a long time. It's a wonderful SPF for those with oily skin. Um, I will link this one down below as well, but so as far as this one goes, um, definitely no white cast on me. So you are do you are doing you are getting a titanium dioxide in here, which is two percent of the formula, and then a zinc oxide one percent. Um, 
Yeah, so let's do it, you guys. I'm going to just put the old uh, hairs back in a clip here. So, wow, so much face. <laughs> it's a lot. Okay. Why is... I should have just come in here with a ponytail, right? All right, let's try that again. Good enough. Okay, so always give it a little shake -a This has a nice consistency to it, you guys. So, I'm doing it on my fingers, okay? So, there, there she, there she is. Um, it's, it's a little bit runny. It does have a tint. Um, see, it's a very slight tint, but it's definitely enough of a tint to um, um, prevent that white cast from happening. I feel like. And yeah, that is the perfect amount. It, it might feel like a lot, you guys, but you probably you're gonna need a lot more than you think you're gonna need. So keep that in mind. Please don't get in my hair. And then you literally just put it everywhere. I do put this one on my lids. I put it pretty close underneath my eyes. I don't feel like I get irritation from this one um, in terms of like it irritating my eyes, making them water. That's not an issue. Um, a lot of times instead of using my like SPF, whatever it is, whatever SPF I'm using during the day, I will use specifically the Color Science Total Eye. So this one is designed for like around the eye area, but most of my SPFs, I feel like I can, um, I can use on my lids without really any problems. So you can see it does leave a glow to the skin. I always work it into my hairline. And again, I use a different SPF for this. Um, right now I'm trying to finish up um, this, this Kula Mineral Sun Silk Creme. Um, this one does not have a tint, so this is easy to use in those areas. If you don't mind getting the tint onto your clothing, just put it everywhere. I just, I don't. That, mm, I don't know, I'm kind of picky about things. Okay, this spreads very easily. I'm looking at the mirror over here. It's easier than looking in the viewfinder for some reason. There it is. Okay, so it is on my skin. So you can see that just little bit of like a glow that it leaves, that glow sticks around. It's not because the SPF hasn't set quite yet. I do recommend waiting at least 20 minutes with this one before applying your makeup. That might make it difficult for someone who is getting ready for work in the morning to use this one again because the dry down is a little, it's a little long. This is a hydrating formula, you guys. Some of the ingredients in here, so they do have um, hydrolyzed sodium hyaluronate. So there is, there's hyaluronic acid in this formula. There is also squalane in here. Um, there is oat kernel extract, um, corn oil sucrose. I don't know what, what would corn oil sucrose do? Anyway. Um, so yeah, it, it is a much more hydrating SPF. I would say certainly more hydrating than the Paula's Choice. So if you are someone with a dry skin type, you would probably really actually enjoy this formula. If you are someone who really likes a nice glow to your skin and you just wanna do this instead of um, putting on makeup. Um, if you just wanna wear an SPF that will ever so slightly even out your skin tone. It, it does not even my skin tone out quite as much as the Paula's Choice because the tint on that, as you can see, is much more, it's a little bit more significant. Um, so that provides just a little bit more um, coverage, I guess. But I would say if you have <clears throat> dry, 
if you have normal, if you have combination, if you have um, oily skin and you like a dewy look to your skin, then this would be the SPF to check out. If you are an oily skinned girl who wants a matte finish, this would not be the formula for you. This is definitely a glowier, dewier finish. And even when I put makeup over top, that little bit of a glow I feel like still comes out. So um, yeah, like it's, it's, it's definitely not dried down yet. I still feel like it's very tacky. Um, but I am embracing that glow a little bit. The older I get, the more I embrace just a little bit of a glow. I, I don't like a lot of glow. If you're born with oily skin, I feel like to you, glow is the devil, right? Like you're constantly trying to make this matte. Um, it's an uphill battle for some, right? But yeah, I really like this one. It, I, I like that it has an SPF of 40. That is definitely a higher SPF than what I have in the Paula's Choice. Um, usually I'm okay with an SPF of 30. Um, I think that that's plenty for me. Um, but yeah, I, I think this one is worth checking out. If you have liked products from Wander Beauty in the past, or you like trying different sunscreens, 100% I would say give this one a go. It is a nice formula. It is not irritating. Like my eyes aren't watering. Like there's no redness in my eyes. And you saw me, like I'm, like I put it on my lids, right? So there's no eye irritation for me, but I, I don't have the most sensitive eyes. They're a little sensitive, but I feel like even I can, you know, swipe this across there and be okay. So let me know if you have tried this particular SPF. Also let us know what your skin type is. If you would like to leave that down below in the comments, I'm sure that everybody else would appreciate your feedback as well. Um, I will link this in a few places in the description box. Let me know if you have any questions. I hope you have a great rest of your day and um, please subscribe if you're new. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and um, I will see you tomorrow for Friday Favorites and Flops. Take care. Take